Now to this week's State House wrap as we enter the second month of this year's legislative session. Nicole Christine joins us now with the latest on some bills being proposed in Indianapolis. Nicole. Well, Mike, the first bill I'm highlighting this week was authored by local Senator John Ford and aims to help get more children in the child welfare system an attorney. The legislation is similar to past bills Senator Ford has authored regarding legal assistance for children in the welfare system. It would apply for kids 12 and older and would be rolled out as a pilot program in six Indiana counties. Ford said he would push for Vigo County to be included in the program as he feels direct representation would help a lot of kids in the foster care system reach permanency, whether that be reunification or adoption. This bill is under review in committee. Meanwhile, Representative Tanya Paff is working with other legislators on a House bill regarding school safety. The bill would require counties to establish a county school safety commission and would require each school corporation or charter school to establish a safe school committee. School corporations would designate someone who isn't already a school resource officer to serve as a school safety specialist. The bill also outlines grant opportunities for law enforcement agencies partnering with the schools on safety practices. This bill has passed through the House Committee on Education. It's now under review in the House Ways and Means Committee. And a bill banning non-compete agreements for physicians in Indiana passed its first full Senate vote this week. The bill is considered one of the state Senate's biggest efforts to curb health care costs. Supporters have said it increases competition among health care providers. Meanwhile, those opposed have shared concern over its effect on smaller poorer hospitals since a physician would be able to leave at will. The bill passed the Senate with a 45 to 5 vote and is now under consideration in the House.